Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to just show you how to build your first house because when you start Valheim, first thing you do need is somewhere to sleep, somewhere to uh, work on your items like a workbench, you need storage, you need a fireplace with a chimney as well. So what we're going to do is we're just going to build that kind of thing today just to sort of show you how to get started. So okay let's get the hammer out first thing we want to do is set out a basic three by three foundation so one two three obviously when you can make stone foundations they're much better but this is just a frame just so we can structure our build from the ground up so we don't overlap things in the wrong manner because uh, that's very easily done okay so we've got the three by three okay so this will be the entrance uh, what we'll do is we will then have wood poles two meters and we put one two put these two on the corner just to give it like two levels up you might need to build wooden ladders so you can reach these uh, for the purpose of this video we're just using the cheat mode because it saves time uh, okay so we've got two 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 now you've got two wood beams for the roof uh, arch we're going to like a triangle so we're going to go with the wood 45 uh, angle because it will give you more roof space basically it won't be as claustrophobic it will give you a bit more room um, so we're going to put one on each of these just need to rotate that one and there you go then it's a 45 degree beam so we need a 45 roof wooden cross to match it um, so bang put that one in there and another one okay so i think what we'll always we'll also do is put a wood beam two meter one across just here to give it some stability just like that just so we can place the roof and it might uh won't have any problems okay so that's the framing we'll quickly put a thatch roof in now in valheim you might not know but when it rains it degrades wood and it degrades it to about 50%, which doesn't doesn't sound great, does it? Because it looks a funny green colour, but it's also half half as durable, which means if you get in a spot of bother with a troll or someone, uh, you're going to have problems. So to finish off the middle with the X, we're going to use the thatch roof ridge. One, two, and three. Okay, so there we have basic basic structure of the house set now we will have to take some of that roof out at some point um, but not for now so we're just going to use the hoe tool and what we're going to do is just parthen which just makes it mud because just so we can kind of border it with this tool you can level out the environment if you need to Using this tool around the house is good because you don't really want grass in your house, do you? So this bit we'll just leave because that will be covered up by wood. So next step, we're going to put the floor in. So we're going to use the wood floor two by two. You can have it rotated. We're going to have it that direction. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And then we're going to put one and two here. There's a bit of mud there. So we'll try and level this out actually um level ground okay there you go we don't want mud in the house so we're leaving this one empty because this is where the fire is going to be so we'll leave that for now so it's going to be a bit snug so a three by three is quite a tight build but let's put the door on just so we know where the door is so you've got wood door or wood gate i'd go with the wood gate because it's a bit bigger and probably have it facing in that direction because the fire is going to be on the left okay well we'll just leave it there for now okay so with fire we're not going to put the fire in yet but what we're going to do is we're going to build a chimney so what we need we're going to put walls here just to sort of give it the base structure of where the chimney is going to be and I'll probably use some wood beams for this just to sort of 
these little sections, one across there, one there. We use a wood pole just to sort of help it here. And then we'll put another wood wall here. Okay, we're going to lose a piece of the roof. And yeah, we need to sort of probably put a wood pole there, 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 and there. And it really just depends how big. Let's do little ones on top, like the little one meters. We'll put a wood beam across to create a little sort of frame. Um, so that could be the chimney already, really. Like, what we'll do is we need to block it off on both sides, on the interior side of the house, so the smoke doesn't get in. So we'll use another wall there. And we'll probably need a wood wall a triangular one here okay because that looks blocked i think i think we're blocked there aren't we we'll put a wood wall here on here and one more here we can get it in it's a bit tricky okay that's fine and then on the top, we just need a roof that allows the smoke out. So you can have something like that, I guess. It's it's not pretty. Well, there's the other option. We'll probably go with that one. So you could have that. It's not like classic, but what happens is the smoke will go up and it will just come out of these little sections here. In theory, anyway. Um, okay, so let's try it. Let's put a fireplace in. Campfire, put it there, and we'll also put a cooking station diagonally facing into the room like that. What I like to do as well, like obviously like that, it's a bit open. So what I would do is, if you want it to look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, you could put these little walls in if you want. It is a bit snug though. We'll see what it looks like. Yeah, you can do it like that. Um, it's a bit, a bit tight, isn't it? So maybe the purpose of this, we won't. So as you can see, the smoke's coming out the top. We can always make it look a bit nicer afterwards, but that's just base chimney. Another little tip is once you've got the ability to use core wood, you could use a log beam, a uh, two meter one, and place it sort of like there or there. But I think we'll just leave it. You could use these as well, um, just to frame it if you want to make it look a bit tidier. Yeah, it's not perfect, but there's the fireplace. Okay, so we've got a fire. Now we need a bed, so where are we going to put the bed? I think what we're going to do with the bed is probably about here, I would say. Let's try it there. Now I think it needs, it's too exposed there, so what we'll do is put a wall in here and here. Here. And there, so can we claim it? No, still too exposed. Okay, we'll put a half wall here. Just see if we can get some light in. Now we'll see. Yeah, okay, there you go. So this is like a little bed window we could have. So we'll put another wall here, another wall there. Then we need to fill this bit up. So we'll come up here and we'll put a wall in there. And then we need these little wood wall 45 degree pieces. Like one there and then rotate the other one around. Okay. Okay, so that's one wall done. 
this will be I think we'll have a window here so we'll half wall half wall and then we've got a nice window two windows and then this route this wall will just make fully wooden because this will be for other stuff okay one two three four six wall pieces we need to put the walls here just to finish off the front um, let's go outside just to have a look at this one okay so what we need here is a, a little half wall to go on top of the door we need a full wall to go on the top and then we need another 45 degree triangular one to go on the edge and I believe that's the structure now it's it's tight obviously a three by three is small it's snug in here but we've got the bed we've got the fire to allow us to sleep and cook but what else do we need we need a workbench so we haven't got that so let's get our workbench where's the workbench where's the bloody workbench gone there it is okay so <clears throat> I think we can put the workbench probably over here in the corner as far in the corner as we can get it that should do fix our stuff so we'll do two upgrades for the workbench so we've got the chopping block so we'll put the chopping block right in close as close as we can to the actual thing to save space that's one and then the tanning rack so how tanning racks a bit awkward size wise so what we might do with the tanning rack is we've moved that wall out we're going to put two half walls in and then we're going to put a little wood floor one by one here Okay, let's see if we can get the tanning rack up there because that will save us some space so can we get it up there we can it's there you go it's not pretty it's not pretty but it's there isn't it so who cares we've got uh, two levels up on the workbench so that's there okay so we've got a workbench with two levels up we've got a bed fire a bit of natural light uh, we've got a roof we need some storage so here is a good place to make some storage so to do storage you've got uh, the chests right you've got these things these chests but you can't stack them or can you well you can so we're going to get rid of these walls we're going to put a half wall in here we're going to just load this up with half walls one two three four okay and then we're going to use one by one flooring one here one there 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 and there and there then we're going to wood wall one by one I'm gonna sort of make a little compartment there so it's blocked off and let's put my wisp on just to give us some light cause it's getting dark in here okay then we're gonna put one by one floors up here as well just to sort of make it nice and neat then we're going to get the chests okay so now it works can we get the chest in there we can there's one two three and one more at the bottom four okay so we've got four storage chests in a nice cupboard campfire windows workbench what other essentials do we need well i think that's pretty much it isn't it i mean obviously for decoration purposes what can we do um you might have deer rugs so you could probably put a deer rug here just by the fire maybe just if you want to sit by the fire and cook like that 
Windows now, the Windows fine. What I like to do with Windows is this. This is just like an extra, but essentially the house is finished now. So if you want to frame a window, just put these beams at the top, bottom and the sides. If you can get it in and then it's just a bit neater. And then you can do the same for this one if you wanted to. Um, probably just put ones on at the end. We could put the ones down the top and the bottom just to sort of make it a bit tidier. And I mean, the tanning rack, if you don't like the look of it, you could like box it off with a cupboard. Um, but let's have a look from outside. It's, um, it's a basic three by three. It's not pretty. It's a ship box essentially, but you know, you've got some light coming in. You've got the beds, you've got good storage. With the roofs, I mean, you can build overhangs if you want, like with, for example, wood being one meters. Put them on the little edges here. And then we put more of these beams on. If we can get it on. Like that. It's just a little overhang. Sometimes it looks nice. Just means you've got to get rid of that and you need to put a new 45 degree piece on the end. It didn't really work, did it? Okay, I think what we got to do with that one is just put it, actually, fuck that. Let's not do the overhangs, can't be bothered. We just put the cross back and save that for another video okay so yeah that is a three by three obviously once you've got the ability to put stone foundations in later in the game you can do that so you, you know if you wanted to put stone foundations in what would you do well you just delete the floor and you've got a stone foundation so you could have the floor as stone then you can just put another floor over it again it just protects it and you know decoration and stuff when you've got the bronze age elements you can put these little stands up on the walls you know like like that and then for example you want to put your bow up here there you go you can use this flat stands like by the fireplace if you really wanted to you know you can put them there and then maybe i don't know put put an item on it let's put the hat for example put a hat there but you know this is good like if you catch fish you can put fish by the fire when you've got a cooking pot stuff like that but there you go that is basic ship box house three by three it's snug it's not particularly attractive but you've got a bed you've got a workbench with two levels you've got four storage chests which we'll see you through you've got the campfire and you know if you wanted to expand this house it's easy what you would do is just knock this whole wall out and just extend the bottom frame and the top frame as many as you want across and just extend the roof just to have a long house and that's it really so yeah that's the guide so i hope that was useful obviously your first house is not going to be nice it's going to be a ship box you can make some wonderful stuff in this game um i will go into a little bit more elaborate builds later on in other episodes but yeah that's a little quick guide for valheim three by three nice little basic house there you go thanks for watching and i'll see you in another video cheers